This right here is the Quick Strike, designed to give you fast and reliable access to your gun. This is a professional bad guy I hired just for this video. You can tell he's a bad guy by the ski mask. I can't read minds, but I know what you're thinking. Someone's gonna open up the door, grab this box, and make away with your gun. And with that speed, you're not gonna catch that guy. Luckily for you, you're not a big dummy. You read the manual, and you know that you could take the cable they give you, wrap it around the rail that's gonna be under the seat, bring that metal cable all the way to the gun box, and lock it up with your favorite padlock. Now that we have this all anchored down, let's shove it between the seats and see if that trips them up. In this situation, I used an anti-thief strategy called locking the door. However, I did hire a professional bad guy, so he got me with a tennis ball trick. Man, that is effective. But lucky for us, that's where his luck runs dry. He's gonna give that a couple good tugs and realize that, that box is not going anywhere. In most car break-ins, they're trying to get in and out as fast as they can so they don't get caught. What's most likely going to happen is they're going to see the box, they're going to try to take it, and after 20 to 30 seconds of pulling as hard as they can, they're just going to give up. You'll be able to notice that even when my professional robber took off the ski mask, he was still unable to get this box out. We had two grown men try to take this box, the truck was moving, and it did not budge. The casing for the cable was nicked a little bit, but the cable itself completely unfazed, and looking at the box, there's no notable damage. The next logical step in this experiment would be to throw it behind a truck and do a lap around the parking lot. And just because I don't hate you, I went ahead and muted the sound for the rest of this test. Before I show you the results of this test, I wanted to give a huge shout out to today's video sponsor. It should come with no surprise that today's video sponsor is Quick Strike. They sent these over absolutely free so I could beat them up and give you an honest review. This company is based out of the US of A. It was nice enough to give me a discount code I can share with you. That's going to be Zach10. If you use that at checkout, you can save some money. As we expected, there's just a few scratches on this thing. Let's go ahead and throw it under the truck and run it over. We spared no expense on this video and hired a professional driver to do this stunt. Watch this masterclass of precision driving as he runs over this box not once, not twice, not three times, but four times, and this box is unfazed. If you were under the impression we didn't have the resources to hire a buff guy to hit this with a meat cleaver and a pry bar, you would be wrong. This guy was under the weather, not at 100%. I really had to pull out a motivational speech to get him going. Try to break it. After those words of encouragement, he gave us this perfect swing. Looking at the results of this test, we dinged it up, we got some cuts on the edges, but nothing really too bad. I live in a pretty safe neighborhood, not too much crime, but we still had some people breaking into cars not too long ago. Now I don't have any cameras pointing at my driveway, but my neighbor had this footage right here, and that is my Tacoma, and you can see that guy running away. These guys are complete amateurs. From what I can tell, they don't even have a ski mask on. They didn't take anything. Honestly, I don't keep anything in my truck that's too valuable anyways. I wouldn't have even known that they broke in if it wasn't for my neighbor sending me this footage. The only weakness I found on this box was the lock. You gotta understand that the average car thief isn't gonna have the time or the tools to break into this box, but I have both. We're gonna start this test with a small pocket knife. We have it jammed into the side, prying it open, and the knife breaks. The pocket knife did bend the metal a little bit, but the lock held up. Unfortunately, we jumped straight to this flathead screwdriver, and... We finally found the Achilles heel of this box. However, I do have two solutions for this problem. I think it's safe to assume most of the people interested in this box have an everyday carry. In this scenario, when you get to your truck, you take out your everyday carry, you put it in the box so it's ready to go, and then whenever you leave the truck, you take the gun out of the box, put it back on your person, and then that way, if they do break into the gun box, there's going to be nothing there. Now, that's how I would use this box personally. It would still give me quick access to my firearm when I need it, and that's what it's designed for, keeping you safe. But if you really wanted to keep a gun in the gun box 24-7, keep it in the quick strike all day, all night, I do know some redneck engineering that could give you some peace of mind. I want to give a massive disclaimer right here. I would not do this if I was you, if you ordered this box. I'm not going to do this to mine personally. I'm just showing you you can do it if you wanted to. Let me walk you through my thought process. We already have a hole at the top of this box where the lid is, where the lock just popped off. So I'm drilling another hole on the side. That way we could take a padlock, put it through, lock it, and you won't be able to open the lid. Now, if for some reason you do want to try this silly idea, be smarter than me. 
I got metal shards everywhere. I should have went to a place where it would be easier to clean up. I also would have been a lot smarter if I would have clamped this down so I wouldn't be just drilling on something that's floating. Now I'm speeding this up a little bit here, but this box was thicker than I thought. It took me a good minute, minute and a half just to get through. And when I say just to get through, I mean just enough for me to get the padlock through. I want to say this one more time. I would not do this on my personal box. I'm using it on the test box and that is it. That being said, once I put this lock on, I went straight for the pry bar and I could not get this thing to budge. At this point, the pro robber already went home. He probably could have got into this bad boy. If you made it this far in the video, guys, go ahead and smash that like button. It really does help the channel grow and tell YouTube to promote it to more people. If you like the outdoors, trucks, or guns, consider subscribing. We have a lot of content coming out this year. If you missed the video I did doing a full review over the Quick Strike, check that out. We put this box through heck during this video, and it lasted a lot longer than I thought it would. In my head, if someone's breaking into your truck, it's going to end up sort of like the intro. They're going to grab it, they're going to do a couple pulls, they're going to get tired, and they're going to leave. Worst case scenario, it's premeditated, they see the box that you have, they bring the tools necessary to break in, they break into the box, and they find nothing. Now, me personally, I love this box. I'm going to be using this box. I had a few friends over to test it out. They all liked the box. And when I posted those shorts, there was a few questions that kept coming up. I made a YouTube short addressing these questions, and I'm going to share that right now. Here's the top questions I get about the Quick Strike gun box. What happens if I press the button on accident when there's a cop? If you do get pulled over, you can lock this box up. And even if you press that button as hard as you can, this box is not going to do anything. Once the cop is left, you can twist the key to open this back up and then reset the box. So how does it work? All you have to do is push the button on the side. It's going to deploy the gun. Once the gun's deployed, it's going to be locked into place. You could press down and grab the gun. That's still going to be locked into place, so you can press back down to put the gun back. Then pull that lever towards you to reset that box. But if I don't want this box on the driver's side, what can I do? Well, just throw that bad boy on the other side. You can see there's plenty of room for the passenger. Instead of hitting the button with your leg, you're going to hit it with your hand and still have quick access to that firearm. Is that the best you could do on price? You know I got you. Use Zach 10 at checkout to save some money on that order. Now, if you have any other questions about this quick strike box, leave those in the comments below and I'll try my best to get back to you. If you do order a box, be sure to use Zach 10 at checkout to save some money. If you found some value in the video, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you know anyone who loves guns, share this video with them. I have a lot of content coming out soon, so be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another video.